Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about the usage of AI in game development. Now, recently I made a video on AI in game development and uh, that caught a lot of mixed responses. A lot of people were actually concerned what will happen to the creativity aspect, what will happen to the jobs and all of those aspects. So I thought I should make a separate video explaining how this entire scenario is going to change and how things are going to be good, bad, ugly, let's you know, discuss all of that aspect. So first and foremost, a lot of people were concerned about, uh, you know, the loss of creativity. I think uh, at the end of the day, people are kind of looking at it from a very different lens, uh, thinking that AI is completely going to replace humans. I don't think that's going to happen. AI is basically, you know, a tool that you can use to enhance your creativity, to enhance your productivity. I'll give you a very simple example, uh, you know, for, uh, Take, for example, a 3D character model. If you want to create a 3D character model, on an average, it can take you anywhere between 5 to 15 days. In some cases, if you want to add more details, it can take up to months as well. Now, with the use of AI tools, you can actually get the base mesh done in a matter of a few seconds. And then you can work on that base mesh. And on top of that, uh, you can also rework on the textures a bit. So essentially what's happening is something that was going to take you weeks or months of effort can be done in a matter of a few days. Okay. And that is in general how AI can be used to enhance the productivity and enhance the speed of all the production pipelines. Now, this will also bring a new wave of, you know, crappy games uh, that will be published out in the market. There's no denying that part. But at the same time, if you see all these other tools that are existing out there, uh, all these no code tools, all these game engines, <clears throat> these have been created to solve a problem that is a lot of the aspects like say, for example, in the 90s, people used to make games by writing their own code, writing, you know, code in C++ and they had to write their own physics engine, they had to write their own graphics engine, etc, etc. Now, when game engines came, there was a little bit of a debate on that aspect as well, right? Uh, whether you should use a game engine or not, you should, you know, write your code directly by yourself to make a good game. But we've come to accept game engines as a standard tool in making our own games. Of course, some of the bigger companies have their own set of tools as well, own game engines as well. But largely, uh, you know, these bigger engines like Unity Game Engine or Unreal Engine have democratized the entire field uh, that can enable a developer to create anything that they want and they have the same set of tools that uh, you know either a double a or a triple a uh, level developer has uh, on their disposal with ai i'm not saying once again with ai i'm not saying that it is going to replace everyone you still need a human you still need someone who can think creatively and uh, you know get that ai do what you actually need to do so the question is not that you know creativity is going to reduce or not no in fact creativity is going to take another level of boost people will be able to focus more on the idea more on the concept rather than how you should do it and that i think is going to be a complete game changer uh, like for example imagine you are able to think of an idea you are able to give that prompt to the computer and that computer is able to make that idea for you uh, of course, you know, right now the processes are scattered. You Not everything is available at a tool. It's not like one click and your game is entirely made, right? You still have to follow processes. And for this reason, I held this one week long boot camp when I explained the process of how a game is developed. And I think that process itself is very fascinating. If you come to understand how these tools are used, you will develop a real understanding and fascination towards the entire process of creation itself. Now again, you know, foundational knowledge needs to be there. Uh, it is not like, you know, you just give a prompt to AI, generate some code, copy paste and everything is ready. No, you still need to have a deep understanding on what prompts you are giving to the computer, what is getting generated and then at the end of the spectrum, even debugging what you've made is good or not. So it is still a lot of effort. That effort is not completely cut out. Okay. Uh, like you know, concept art, you just have to give prompts to the computer, but sometimes what happens is the prompt uh, gets misunderstood by the AI. So you have to again sit and refine on that prompt or you can take that uh, concept art that is generated and start reworking on it uh, manually from your side. This will still, you know, save you 
months and months of time uh, that you ideally would have done manually by yourself. And if something is out there that you can use to enhance your productivity, why not? Uh, there is no uh, bad thing about using AI to enhance your productivity because at the end of the day, it is all about how effectively and how well your game is polished and accepted out there in the market. Nobody is going to care how you have made that game. At the end of the day, what people care is the experience that they are getting, what kind of gameplay you are implementing, what is the core loop, what is the fun aspect of the game. And it doesn't matter you know, what sort of programming language you've used, what engine you are using, what, uh, what is the production pipeline that you followed. As long as your end product is fun to play, people don't care. Okay, that's the plain simple fact, and that is the reason why a lot of these bigger uh, games as well are going to adopt um, AI in their production pipelines, primarily because of the shortage in terms of uh, you know development timeline that these uh, tools offer. Now, again, um, you know from an economics perspective, things are also going to change rapidly. If the production cost of these games are going to come down naturally, uh, there will be some sort of a discounts uh, or deep discounts available on the sale price as well. Nowadays, we see like, you know, these AAA games are costing $60, $100 and whatnot, right? Uh, I, I certainly think that if the cost of development of these bigger games is going to come down, then most certainly there will be a huge reduction in the price point and in the sale price of these games as well. Naturally, because you know, when it comes to a triple A game, these budgets go into hundreds and millions of dollars. So, let's say, for example, if you are able to create a triple A quality game, not for 200 million dollars, but for say 20 million dollars, then in that case, uh, you know, definitely companies will start pricing their games at a cheaper price point as well, which will mean that a lot of people will be able to play these triple A games and they will be able to, you know, afford them and enjoy that experience which will actually open up a fresh new market for these bigger publishers as well. So I think uh, AI is going to be completely changing the entire landscape. It is not going to hamper creativity. It is only going to put your creativity on steroids. And most definitely this is going to happen. Um, in fact, a lot of the studios, Indie as well as AAA have started using AI in their development pipelines. And I'm really excited to see what the future holds. So with that in mind, those are my thoughts on, uh, you know, the usage of AI in game development. Let me note down in the comments your thoughts on uh, what do you think uh, about AI in game development. Uh, and uh, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to share this video, go ahead, share it with your friends in the game dev community. My name is Nikhil Malkar. I'm the founder and CEO of Gameyon Studios. We're a game development studio based in the city of Mumbai. And on YouTube, I make content around games and game development. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching till the very end and I'll see you in my next video.